praise the name of Jesus. We have three different kinds of speaking in tongues. We have the first one, tongues of men. The second one, the tongues of the angels, holy angels. And the third one, tongues of God. And all of us, we know that Holy Spirit, Jesus Christ, and our Heavenly Father is one. Now, let us examine the tongues of God. And who is the first person in the Word of God? And especially in the Old Testament, who interpreted the tongue of God. And also reading the tongue of God. But before we, we see that, we want to examine that tongue is the tongue which a which was uh, revealed by the Holy Spirit now the Holy Spirit is be behind the great works of God when you see the great works of God is done know that the Holy Spirit is behind everything that God does even raising Jesus from the dead, the Holy Spirit was involved. In fact, God is the one that sent him from heaven to raise Jesus from the dead. Now, Jesus said that if I'm casting out demons by the Holy Spirit, that means the kingdom of God has come to you. And we see that in the book of Matthew chapter 12 from verse 28 Jesus said if I cast out demons by the finger of God that means the kingdom of God has come to you and the same spirit of God he is the finger of God how do no, how do I know that let's open the Bible or the word of God right now yeah. In the book of Luke chapter 11 verse 20, Jesus himself says that if I cast out demons by the finger of God, that means the kingdom of God has come to you. We saw in the book of Matthew, Jesus said, if, I've cast, if I cast out demons by by the Spirit of God, the kingdom of God has come unto you. And here also in the book of Luke chapter 11 verse 20, he says that if I cast out demons by the finger of God, that means the kingdom of God has come unto you. So no, now all of us, we are aware that the finger of God is the Spirit of God. And also, as um, in another passage of the Gospel, Jesus said, if I cast out also uh, the demons by the hand of God. You see, the hand of God also is what? Is who? Is the Spirit of God. Now, because we are aware of that, now we are going to examine the tongue of the Holy Spirit, which is the tongue of God. Why am I saying the tongue of the Holy Spirit is the tongue of God and of Christ Jesus? It is because... In accordance to the Word of God, the Word of God says, God is a spirit, and those who worship Him must worship Him in spirit and truth. And also, of course, the Lord is the spirit. That is, the Lord Jesus Christ also is the spirit. Okay, now, let us enter deep and to see the first person who interpreted the tongue of the Holy Spirit. In the word of God, and especially in the Old Testament, in Jesus' name, Amen. Uh, now, if you read in the book of Daniel, chapter five, 
there was a king in the name Belshazzar, the son of Nebuchad uh, Nebuchadnezzar. When Nebuchadnezzar died, so the son took over, he became a king. And this person did a feast. You know, Shere, in Israel we call it Shere, but it was a feast, they enjoyed themselves. He did something that was very much displeasing in the eyes of God. He took the vessels of the that was in in the temple of King Solomon. You remember when they sinned against God, the Israelites. So God sent Nebuchadnezzar to destroy Israel and they took they took the Jews, the children of Israel captives into the king kingdom of Babylon then also the vessels the golden vessels of the house of God they took and now this uh, this son you know he he took that vessels and he celebrated his feast and drink the things of the world using the things of God to please himself and that was displeasing. And one thing happened, and he saw he saw a a finger writing on the wall. And when he saw that, he was displeased. He was afraid. Even his, you know, the his ankles, you know, his knees, you know, shook. He trembled. Was you know the smart one against another bakalok, 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 like this I know I, I hope you understand so that was what happened and he cried the way that you're, you're listening someone is crying so he cried even more than that person who is crying so what happened the king sent to call the soothsayers, the astrologers, the people who practice satanisms, satanism. Now they were not able even to read. Why? Because this writing was the finger of God. That is the Holy Spirit. That was the hand of God writing on the wall. So they were, there was nobody. There were nobody. Who was able to read therefore they sought or they looked for daniel hallelujah daniel the man of god a wise pastor the spirit of god was in him and when he came he said he will read but he rebuked the king's son belshazzar because he knew what happened to his father when his father became proud and he said when he was walking on the top of his house the father Nebuchadnezzar said ah all this kingdom are built with my power and when he said that God punished him God sent him you know to the bush to the forest he lived with the animals for seven years, he was like an animal there until he came to understand that God is the only one that reigns over the affairs of the men through all kingdoms. He humbled himself. To cut the story short, because I want, I want you to read it. You know the Daniel, the book of Daniel, all the old chapter, chapter 5. It will give you that details because there are many. So Daniel came because he had the Spirit of God. God gave him wisdom to, to read the tongues of God. And he read, he said, what is written there? Because the magician could not even read. So he read, he said, it is written many, many Tekel, Perez. <laughs> oh, we're talking Tangremo, Sakra, and the Samana, Manamana, Tekel, Perez. So, 
this man read and he now after reading it he came with the interpretation he said a mene means your king you know the kingdom God has numbered your kingdom God has numbered your kingdom and finish it that is the meaning of man God has numbered your kingdom and do what and finish it that is the first interpretation now let's go to the second interpretation take care that's the second one take care and when he read take care and gave interpretation said the kelly means thou art waves waved in the balance thou art waved at the balances and thou art found wanting that is the interpretation of the kel now the third one let's go to the third one the third one daniel read perez <laughs> perez and also he gave you the interpretation of perez the tongues of the holy spirit the tongues of holy jesus christ the tongues of our heavenly father perez the rest means thy kingdom is divided. You are telling the son of Nebuchadnezzar. Okay, Belshazzar. Thy kingdom is divided and given to the Persia and to the maids of the Medes. That was the interpretation. And that all these things in the in the book of Daniel chapter five go, just chapter five go and read read them. Chapter five and uh, the interpretation start from verse 26, 27, 28 and downwards. So what a powerful thing! This man Daniel, the word of God says, the angel talked to him and said to Daniel. The man who is loved by God. The reason why Daniel was so much loved and able to have such a wisdom because he was a person who separated himself and walk in purity, in holiness. When you separate yourself, because God also is separated, that's why he's called holy. God will don't have any problem to do what? To reveal himself to you and give you such a wisdom so God bless you this is the tongue of God of course we will learn more about tongues the speakings of tongues may God bless you in Jesus name this means this knowledge gives you more understanding of God and may you desire God more I love you in the Lord Jesus Christ and also I desire to have such a wisdom in my generations in this last time in Jesus name Amen God bless you